when you uh, look back on your time on The Walking Dead, what do you think of, sir? Uh, just wonderful storytelling, really great friends, uh, and possibly the worst working conditions so far as weather I've ever experienced. What do you mean? They just the rain and the the heat and the humidity and you know which was all part of the show mm -hmm. and which is what I think helps make the show as good as it is because right. the, the the environment is actually another character that you have to deal with you know you wake up the day and you're like okay uh it's hot and it's miserable and you guys are cranky okay got it <laughs> it's like you have your work yeah, is you done for it. you you're like okay we're there it's great yep. Yep. good morning <laughs> that's we're how, there that's in fact how <laughs> I showed up to work today exactly um and and what are your views on like me I, I mean I could talk about what happened to your character but Really? Is it a spoiler alert? I mean, like, no, seriously. At this for point? People, yeah, at this, yeah, I mean, what is what is the philosophy for somebody years, even years later? What is your philosophy as an actor? Because we talk about this with Game of Thrones right now, like how too soon is too soon? Because obviously what happens with your character is such a major shocker uh, at Yeah, I, th I think if you're a huge fan of the show, right? yeah, I think you know, there's like a week grace period. A week? Yeah, and then every, okay. other than that, it's, it's on you. Like, if you're the one who's going to pack, stack everything up and binge, right. it's on you to not, you know, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, the whole world has to not talk about something that they're experiencing together because yes. you are not fitting it into your schedule. Right. That's on you. Okay. Because, again, yeah. I mean, you're part of that show, a significant, yeah, massive following that had a ton of spoilers. Yeah. And you were, you were part well, of one in a way. And we actually, had, Stephen and I had to keep our secret for more than a year. Um, for more and than was, a year, yeah, but big secrets like that are easy to keep uh, because you know you just can't talk about it. Okay, it's the smaller secrets that happen during the season, which are harder because you lose track of where you are in the episode. Sure, so you sort of like of did, did that air yet? Did that not air? So you, right, and one thing affects something down the road, so you kind of you realize you kind of maybe tilted your hand mm. a little bit on a smaller thing that wasn't supposed to be known because it affects so many other things down the road. But when it's a big thing. You just don't talk about it. It's funny, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, when he sat on that couch, he was very comfortable holding that bat. Yeah, I bet he was. I bet he was. <laughs> Je Jeffrey and I go go way back. With bats. Big, huge history with bats. With bats. <laughs> Do people come up and say, I miss Abraham, or, you know, or oh, yeah, give you a yeah. hug they, because they, about what happened to you? They literally say, oh, my gosh, yeah, you know, Abraham was possibly my favorite character. Can you sign my bat? <laughs> like, yeah. With that's, their Team Negan t-shirts on. Right. We miss you so much. I'm like, so much that you couldn't have gotten my t-shirt? <laughs> All right. That's, that's the fine. way fans are. That's the way that's fans they are. are. No, they love the show. They they do love the characters. I love the character of Negan. So I, I, I get it. You know, it's, uh, it's uh, I think the characters, especially the, the, the graphic novel characters, are so well-developed. Uh, you can't help but fall in love with them. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.